Hey guys, it's me. It's uh, March 22nd. Uh, this is Future Us. Uh, we had a subscriber's wife reach out to us, ask me to give a shout out to a guy named Eric Knapp. Uh, it is his two year anniversary of being a heart transplant recipient. Yep. So, grats, bro. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. Warning the YouTuber you are about to watch does not care about your one view. So don't think he will kiss your ass to keep you watching. If you talk shit, he will talk shit back. If you become rude, you will be blocked. Enjoy. Alright guys, it is now, uh, what's today? Wednesday? I got home last night at about uh, 12 o'clock at night. Um, it's now raining because this is my luck. Move the truck over to the big tax and it's not the truck it's it's there there's something going on with this trailer um so before i left when i started having all the issues and i had to borrow my buddy's trailer i was like screw it and i bought 50 feet of the good wire so this has the uh, seven wires inside that sheathing to protect it um all they had was 25 50 and 100 foot rolls because ideally I think I would have liked to have about 60 feet because you've got 40 feet of deck and then I don't know hopefully that hopefully that 50 foot roll is going to be okay so I'm going to completely rewire this thing with all new wire from front to back um, and uh, see if that fixes it if that's if, that, if that's not the fix Look at that, I got a weird flat spot on that tire. That wasn't like that. These brakes are acting up. Oh man, that's a shame. That might be from me going down the road and squeezing my thing, just to see if my brakes are working. Wonder if that's the only flat spot we... Nope, there's another flat spot back here. Oh man, this trailer is fucking up my tires, dude. Or maybe only that brake is working at the time. Because I've been keeping an eye on these things. Um, now there's a funny flat spot here. Um, maybe it's faulty when I hit the brakes, maybe only they, some of them randomly work. I don't know. You know, these tires aren't cheap. So the 14 plies, I think they're about a hundred and I bought the ones for the big techs. I caught them on sale for like 120, I think I can't remember, but that's a pretty big flat spot. <clears throat> so I felt that the trailer bouncing around on the way home. I just thought it was the, uh, the road I was on. That's pretty significant. I can't use that tire anymore. Damn it. All right. So here's the uh, channel that they welded along. You can see they welded this channel along here. And then you can see the wires been down. They got another channel that runs down into here that goes down into the toolbox and then out the back of the toolbox and out the back of the trailer. My plan was to, uh, you can see they got spot welds along here. I was going to cut along all these channels all the way back. Uh, with it, with as easy as it was for me to get to this piece, I don't, I don't think that it would be worth the time maybe to cut it off. I definitely have to cut this piece off in order to get the wire down inside the box right here. So I think I have to do that. Let me see, there might be a weld up in here that I can't reach. Yeah, there's definitely a weld up in there that I can't reach. I may have to remove this toolbox to get to it. But I popped this one off. That one's loose. So I'm going to uh, probably take this box off. We'll get that out of the way. And then that'll allow me to get to the, the wire. Which I've got laid out. I should have enough to run all the way to the back. And then split off to all the lights from there. 
So let me, uh, I guess I gotta remove this box. Dang it. I was really hoping not to have to do that. All right, got the toolbox off. We got that uh, channel off. I've got the uh, new wire pulled through. I just have to, uh, I'm gonna have to run up to the store and get some clips so we can clip this, clip this up real nice. And then uh, I'll connect it into the box and then I'll, I'll clip it all the way back. And then we'll just have to splice into it for the individual things here. All right, so that's how we got the uh, wire clipped. I just put the, uh, use those self-tapping screws we bought at Lowe's when I was grounding the uh, brakes back in Lowe's parking lot. I just ran it back and down. I'll probably put one more clip here. And then I have it wired into the box here. Um, it's been raining all day. I got under there and I, I, I clipped it all the way back to the rear axle. Then I'll just have to strip back some of that sheathing and then uh, connect the uh, brake wires back there and then continue the wire back and wire it into the uh, lights. And then everywhere there's one of these uh, marker lights, I'll have to splice into the wire too to get these uh, marker lights. All right, so here's an update. So we got the wire, tr the trailer wired up, hooked it up to the truck, and I sat there for about five minutes squeezing the brakes, and it's uh, it, it's not saying trailer disconnected. So I ended up having to order some magnets for, or some uh, clips for these magnets. I bought them from E-Trailer. They're like seven dollars for a set of four. But shipping to get it here in time, uh, it's going to end up being like thirty-seven dollars. So. I go ahead and order them and I run up to a place called Agri Supply. It's like a farm tractor place that has uh, trailer brake stuff. Hoping maybe I could find them cheaper there and get them right away. They don't have them, so we end up having to order those anyways. Anyways, my buddy goes to leave and I was like, let me try it one more time. Jumped in the truck, bam, trailer disconnected. So I'm like, what in the world? Come back here and while I'm squeezing the trailer brake, he tries to hold something metal up next to the magnet. Nothing's happening. The magnets aren't energizing. None of them. So if you if you squeeze the uh, the brake controller lever, there's like a whining noise coming from at least this one. I haven't checked this one, but there's a whining noise coming from that one. I'm gonna take this one, all the brake shoes apart. I was gonna take the whole the whole thing off, but the leaf springs stop you from getting to two of the nuts back there so i'm just gonna go ahead and take the shoes off on everything and check this wire and make sure this wire isn't pinched behind these shoes and uh see what happens with that all right so i tried to ohm out these uh magnets when i was on the road and i couldn't get them to ohm out oh those just pulled out of there too look at that they're all fine. all my magnets are bad that's why my trailer's been messing up all these wires look they rotted out of the magnet the wires are like rotted. Yeah. Here. Alright guys, so we've got uh, new magnets ordered for the trailer. They should be here hopefully Monday. Uh, the sad thing is I ordered those clips and the new magnets hum come with the clips. My buddy John's been here helping me. What does your truck have? 80,000 miles? Uh, 87,000. 87,000. We're at 122. He was uh, metal on metal with his brakes. So we just checked the Ford. And we were getting close. These uh, these brake pads don't have any wear bars on it, which is kind of weird. It's usually a piece of metal that sticks over and lets you know when they're getting low. Um, it's got a little bit of meat left on there. Not much. These come with like three quarters of an inch of brake pad. I mean, there's they have a lot of brake pad on it. So we've got all this pulled off. I've got Lita. She had to go up to the store and get the brake pads. I'll have to take these uh, rotors and have them turned. Uh, tomorrow and then uh, we'll put this truck back together and then um, I still have to finish up a little bit of wiring on the back of the trailer there and then that'll be ready and then when the magnets come in we'll we'll throw the magnets in there and since I have all the drums off I'm gonna go ahead and repack those bearings again so uh, we're just cleaning up now because it's getting late and uh, we'll see you guys later all right Lita just arrived with the uh, brake pads let me show you guys the difference in the brake pads here new to old look how much pad you have on that compared to pad on that 
big difference. 120 something thousand miles. I got the uh, that's best. Good. That's good mileage. The that's best good. they had with a lifetime warranty. This has got the clip. Yeah, yours didn't come with clips. All right, guys. It is. Uh, it's now Friday. At about three o'clock, we just got the rotors turned. It was uh, twenty dollars for the rotors. It was uh, sixty nine for the brake pads. I ended up getting the brake pads on uh, Advanced Auto Parts online, and you can use coupon codes and save more money. That's usually what I do. Um, so the magnets for the trailer aren't going to be in until Monday. <clears throat> and usually, see, right now it's 3 o'clock and my mailman's right there, but they're coming UPS. And for some reason, my neighborhood is like the last on the list for UPS and FedEx. Which is kind of annoying when I order car parts and I'm sitting around waiting on them. It ain't till the end of the day till I can actually receive them and then get to work on it. Anyways, so we've turned these once now. And they said that I, they were barely able to be turned um, because they're the allotted amount of thickness. So these they won't I won't be able to turn them again. Basically, I got, I got one turn out of these rotors. Um, and then next time I'll have to buy new rotors. Now, granted, we got 120 something thousand miles out of these, but I'm used to getting my rotors turned a few times. And now it's like the government stepped in and basically told these companies that the allotted amount that they have to be for thicknesses and, and whatever. It's, it's kind of a mess. Anyways, so I'm going to finish up the brakes on this truck now. And then um, I got the wiring done on the back of the trailer. And then. I was thinking about converting the uh, the hubs back to oil since I I converted them to grease thinking I could get a, a, a grease uh, bearing buddy. But bearing buddy does not make them the size that I need them. So I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll just go back to oil then because it's kind of a pain in the butt pulling them bearings out all the time and, and repacking them. But then I couldn't find new seals. I wanted to put new seals in it if I was going to go back to oil. Can't find the new seals. I'd have to order them. I don't have time to sit around and wait, so we're just going to repack the bearings. I, I'm really considering going back to oil and, and just keeping an eye on it. I'll keep a couple extra seals in the truck. If I blow a seal a few times, whatever, we could always go back to packing them with grease. I've also thought about adding oil in with the grease, too, um, just so that they're always being lubed. When I took them apart this time, we have, we have let's see, maybe... Maybe 15,000 miles on the trailer since I packed the bearings. And I don't know, man. I, I didn't like the way the bearings looked. Um, it, they could have used more grease for sure. Um, I feel like there just wasn't enough grease on them after 15,000 miles, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Like I said, to pull them off and repack them all the time. So I'm going to quit running my mouth. I'm going to get to work on these brakes and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so one of the uh, things that I bought for the trailer that I, I wasn't sure if it was causing an issue was a new trailer battery box. Um, this is part of the footage that we lost the first time, but when we got uh, got pulled over in Connecticut and they checked our trailer brakes, um, our battery went bad. So we ran to AutoZone and we, got, we picked up this. Uh, it was like $45. What's nice about this is you can hit this test button you guys can't really see because the sun's so bright and it'll tell you that it's charged and it tells you if it's charging and it tells you when the battery's getting low so I bought that for this trailer as well it looks a little different it looks like this doesn't have the uh, fancy white sticker that this one has but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this trailer too because I never know if this battery's charged you have to which you should anyways, you should you should pull this out, pull your brake away, and make sure your trailer uh, is gonna lock up. But this will be nice because this will let me know if the battery's dead or not. All right, so this is what we ended up with. That's the, uh, that's the box that came with the uh, new cable that I bought that plugs into there. Um, and then there's the box. You can see it says it's charging, and it'll let you know when the battery's low and when it's full, but if you hit this test, It'll show you that it's full. All right, so it is Monday, uh, about 1.30. I'm shooting this on the new DJI. I have to send the old DJI off for a warranty 
work. But we've got all the drums sitting here. I've got all the bearings packed and ready to go as soon as the magnets show up on the UPS truck. Which, like I said, UPS always comes to my house. Like, this is like the last neighborhood that they, they come to for some reason. But as soon as the magnets show up, we can throw them new magnets in, wire it up, throw the drums in, and then, and then we'll be good to go, I think. I've got all my binders uh, out, uh, greasing those up so they'll be ready for another couple weeks. I, I'll definitely have to stay out at least four weeks when I go out this time. Because, uh, let's see, we got home, was it Wednesday night? I think we got home Wednesday night, now's today, today's Monday. See, it's, it's like every time I come home, there's always, I'm always stuck here waiting on something. So, still have to cut these magnets off of here. Look how they've pitted. That's that's kind of weird that they've, they've pitted this way. But basically, it's, I don't know if it's the salt or what that's been getting into this, this wire, but these wires are disconnected at these magnets for some reason inside the sheathing. So I don't know if this is pulling on. I don't know if this is pulling the. I don't know. I don't know what's happened. Maybe what's happened since we were missing the clips. Maybe this magnet fell off of this this base, and when I would apply the brakes, it would pull the magnet away from the wires. Maybe that's what's happened. I don't know. It's a mess. Let me show you guys the, the, the kind of wiring job I did. You can see, I hope you can see. Let me get under here. So this is the wire that we ran under here. And I just clipped it all along the frame, all the way down. And then you have to strip back the sheathing um, to connect it to the lights that were going. There's the uh, electric brakes there, and then it goes off into the back. But here's the square tubing that the wires were running before. My original plan was to go through here and cut all of this off, but you can see they kind of welded them at, at weird places. Like they got welds up here. I think they got some welds on the back side of this. And I was like, there's no way. I'm, I'm not gonna spend all that time cutting off that tubing. So, just sitting here waiting. Lita's doing some uh, burning in the back. We've got to have gone through and cut a bunch of limbs down that are getting out of control eventually i want to remove these two trees where i can back up along to this fence and then we're going to extend this corner of this fence out so the neighbors don't have to look at my trailers and stuff that's pretty much the update the brakes on the truck are done i haven't even driven the truck i should probably go drive the truck to make sure um everything's going to be good with that and then uh, can't think of anything else I need to do. We're only about 2,000 miles on that oil change, so we're good with that. Um, yeah, so we'll see when the magnets get here.